Hey everybody, it's Angel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing uh, my review for the Walking Dead episode that was on Sunday, and I'm sorry that I did not get it out until now. I know I said Monday, but something came up uh, the last two days, and I was just really busy trying to get my homework done, and I didn't get around to it, so I'm sorry, but I'm doing it right now. Um, what I thought about the episode. We found out that Carl wrote a letter to Negan. And I guess I could understand why he wrote a letter to Negan, because he's trying to, he's trying to make peace with everybody. He's trying to make sure that the fighting stops. He doesn't want it to continue. He wants everybody to be peaceful, and he doesn't want, you know... He doesn't want anybody going to war with anybody else, so I can understand why he wrote that to him. Um, I did not like. I think Negan was a, seemed upset about Carl's death, but I don't like what he told Rick that it was his fault because it wasn't Rick's fault. Carl made the decision he made, and it's not Carl's fault either. Things just happen, but he made the decision he made. And I'm not really, I will not blame anybody on that. Because Carl was trying to be nice and help someone. And Rick was trying to end, you know, the whole savior, all the saviors. That's what he's trying to do. He's just trying to make it where they're not in charge. And where everybody can live their own lives in peace and not have to worry about giving up their food or their weapons and, um, so it was nobody's fault. So I didn't like what Negan did uh, when he said that to Rick. Um, Enid was told by Aaron to go back and let Maggie know and make sure that Maggie did not come to them with, uh, come to the, um, Oceanside to, um, see them. So she was told to tell Maggie not to go over to Oceanside. And Aaron said he's going to try and um, get them to go to war with them against Negan without going back there. So I don't know what that means. Um, I'm thinking of what else. I know I had one more thing and my mind just jumped the track. And I can't remember what I'm supposed to say. Um, we said, uh, we talked about Negan. Oh, Simon. Simon did not do what Negan said. And since Simon is his right-hand man, I don't know how that's going to work out. And I think if Negan finds out, he's going to be mad at Simon or something. I don't know if he'll kill him or not, but he might end up, like, somehow doing something to him. I don't know. But he was told to kill one person, and only if they didn't accept the deal. And instead of killing one, he killed them all except for one person. And I, that was bad. He disobeyed Negan, and Negan is not going to like that. Um, other than that, I can't wait for next week's episode. And... Yeah, I hope, I really hope that we get to see what Carl, Carl wrote in his letters to everybody. Especially Enid's and Rick's and Michonne's and Judith's. And, I mean, I want to hear them all, but especially those letters. And, other than that, um, tomorrow Supernatural comes on. And I was supposed to do, I was supposed to do the review Friday. But I'm not, I might not be able to because um, Supernatural comes on later than usual and it doesn't come on until like 11.30 and I think it goes off at like 12.30 on the channel that I have. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that or not. Um, and as far as Walking Dead, you know that Walking Dead reviews are going to be on Monday unless something comes up and I can't. Um, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you did, like it, uh, subscribe if you want to, and if you do subscribe, 
um, click the bell button to get notifications of when I put out new videos. Um, I'll talk to you next video. Bye, guys.